Welcome back to Melodica with Mr. Wright. Um, today we're going to use a song called Let It Be, the Beatles song, written by uh, Paul McCartney and John Lennon, and uh, one of their more famous tunes. And we are going to play the melody, but today I'm not just going to teach you the melody itself and how to finger it. I'm going to focus more on what you think about as you play it. Now, I will put probably a copy of the sheet music or at least part of the sheet music in the link down below. And so you can access it there if you need to. If not, um, you can go online and there's plenty of copies. Uh, we're doing it today in key of C, which is all the white notes. And I do believe that is the original key. Um, so you can learn it. All right. So today we're going to start by, uh, let's just do the first phrase and I'm going to play it very sort of robot like. I'm going to try and stick strictly to the rhythms on the page and sort of just play it straight. So here's what it might sound like. And I'm using the tube today for most of, most or all of the lesson. So there's our first note. Here we go. Okay, that was the first phrase, all right? There's nothing wrong with that. I hit all the notes, got the rhythm, played the pitches, yay me, Woohoo! Okay, but let's see if we can go from just playing the notes to actually communicating a little something with our heart, with our humanity, okay? Um, one way to think of that is to actually think of the words when you play. So instrumentalists, um, if you're playing a song that has lyrics, or has meaning or has a feeling, then you ought to feel something. So think about communicating either a feeling or a concept or the lyrics that are there. If I was going to sing this, and I'm a singer, so by saying this, it would be, when I find myself in times of trouble, and I'd probably take a breath here, Mother Mary comes to me, Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. So I do some notes louder and some notes softer. I would add maybe vibrato on those longer notes. A mm, little bit of that going on. Um, I would take breaths, of course, and this is a breath instrument, so that's perfect uh, for this instrument. Um, what else? I might... Uh, have subtleties in the rhythm. Um, I might be strictly on time in certain cases and other times I might be a little bit early or a tiny bit late to give it the feeling that I want. Okay, um, so let me do it again. Let me uh, mix it up now and play a little bit louder and softer in certain notes. Okay, but I'm going to be thinking the words as I play. All right, here we go. Let's try that again one more time, all right? All right, one more time, here we go. Okay, so maybe you heard the difference a little bit communicating the message, all right? Um, okay, let's talk about a little bit now playing with one note or playing with multiple notes, how this affects that different instrument. And this week in particular, I really noticed a difference as I was, I actually started to play this song, Let It Be, with both hands, um, something like this. And uh, I'll give it a go. So I was trying to do both hands, um, and somewhat successful. Uh, what I found though, however, when I tried to do like four or more notes on the melodica here, we had some issues with the breath pressure, okay? Um, the melodica, the instrument, goes from this side of the instrument to the other side. The air pressure, as it goes, hits the low notes first, and then whatever's left over is gonna hit these higher notes. So what happens sometimes, if I hit, say, four notes, what happens is 
especially if you're playing these super low notes, this F or G or somewhere down here, um, it kind of sucks all of the air and there's not really enough left to get a really nice um, sound up top on the melody. And so just something to be aware as you play multiple notes. Now I'm not saying don't play multiple notes, but be aware that it does modify the tone and the volume. Now I'm gonna take a moment and take the same breath pressure. I'm gonna try and keep the same amount of breath and play, I'll play uh, four notes, then three, then two, the one, and really listen to the volume of uh, the top note, okay? I'll go from, I'll release the low notes first. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go down so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna play an F chord, and let's uh, play it like this, all right? <laughs> Okay, that was actually five notes I played. Listen again, let me do the same thing again. Okay? Here we go. Okay, could you hear that? Could you hear how as I just, I kept my breath pressure the same, as I let go of notes, the, amount, the notes that I had left actually became louder in volume until I just had one note and that high F, it was a high F note up here that I had. This high F became uh, at least twice as loud by the time we were all done, okay? And that's a relationship. There's only so much pressure can go through this uh, tube. And so the air pressure is spread out among the different uh, tones and sounds, okay? So um, just something to be aware of as you play. So... Uh, I love mostly to use this for melody and maybe a little bit of harmony, and um, I found that I just like the immediacy and the clarity of tone that it gets with just maybe the one or two or three notes, okay? Again, not that you can't play the two hands and play all those notes, that's great. Um, the Melodica Brothers, uh, if you're into the two hand thing, I highly recommend um, what they're doing, okay? Um, let's see, what else can I tell you today in terms of technique? Um, we talked about breath, squeezing, oh, a louder and softer, of course, your air pressure is going to affect that. Um, we did not talk about attack today, which is like, uh, here would be an unattacked phrase. Okay, that would be unattacked, but if I tongue it, ta 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 at least on some of the pitches, Gives a little bit more crispness and emphasis of certain notes. Okay, you can hear the difference there. Hopefully you heard that. Um, all right. Um, I'm going to now just play the melody. And let's pretend I sort of have a band. I've got the drums and a bass and maybe a keyboard just playing some chords underneath okay and so my band is playing chords and you're doing this little melody solo and let's just play a solo just a single note but sometimes i could add a second pitch or even a third but mostly playing the melody so kind of mixing it up a little bit solo with some extra oomph at different times okay here we go Okay, um, hopefully that helped. Just adding a little extra note, a note or two. So suddenly going from one note to two and three, it peaks the ear. Oh, he had one note, now two and three. It kind of draws you in a little bit. All of those little moments, adding those extra um, notes. Let's go to the chorus. Let it be, and I'll do the same thing.
Okay, now that was imperfect. Um, I certainly, if I were recording, I would redo that take and do another one. But you get the idea um, of playing different notes, okay? So hopefully that's helpful. Um, great little tune. Um, since this is the original, you could, uh, if we had more time, maybe I would pull up the Beatles and you would play along with them. That'd be a great way to learn it. Um, so enjoy. Enjoy, okay, and um, I've noticed that this is an instrument that is used around the world. I, I popped into a video, um, it was a video a video from the Philippines, and they had a music camp, and they were we had some youth jam, and, and some of them were using this. So um, this is just, I, I know it's, some people think of it almost as a toy, but again, music is not just the instrument that they have, but how you use it, okay? And so enjoy time at the Melodica. We'll see you next time. Everybody take care of each other, please. Love, peace, and happiness during this difficult time that we're in. Take care.